Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Sagittarius. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of June, okay? So this is for June for Sagittarius. What do we have for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What do we have for Sagittarius? Whoop, that's a lot. We're not going to take those. I guess we'll take those. Okay. Table. Hard work ahead. Four leaf clover. Great. Good fortune. This is good luck. So luck is on your side. You know what happens when you find a four leaf clover? It means that something good is coming. Rabbit. Too much concern with sexual matters. Uh-oh. <laughs> no way. Not Sagittarius. Are you kidding me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you got something lucky coming. But there is some sort of hard work ahead. So be prepared for that. You're probably going to be building something. Um, luck is on your side. There's probably some sort of Obviously, there's some sort of sexual energy here. So, what do we got? Luck is on your side. Oh, we had two. Boy. Unrequited love. We have, you know, that card speaks for itself. It's interesting because of the uh, too much concern with sexual matters. We have an unrequited love situation here. We have a dog and a cat. <laughs> so uh, it looks like the dog is a dog and doesn't really want the cat. But the cat wants the dog. <laughs> so... Uh, I think that we need to uh, reevaluate a situation. Replace your fear with faith. You're going to need to replace your fear with faith. Um, there is some hard work ahead. I hope you know your value and your worth. Obviously, we have somebody here that is in an unrequited love situation. And they need to uh, reevaluate the situation by the looks of things. Don't be so gruff. I keep looking at that dog. That dog is gruff. You know, don't be so gruff. What do we have? What do we have? Hangman. Hangman is a new perspective is needed. There's a need to let go of something. Could be stubbornness. The need to prove a point. There's nothing to prove. There's, somebody is wasting their time. Uh, it's got to be this way. It's got to be this, th that way. You know, I'm unwilling to budge. There's a need to budge. There's a need to uh, look at things from a new perspective. Thinking, a lot of thinking, thinking about everything that has happened. A need to reevaluate for sure. Reevaluation is big. Somebody is reevaluating. They're reevaluating a love situation. They may be coming up with a new perspective. I feel there could be a reconnection here as well with the Hermit reversed. I don't know if there's been a if there's been a rejection or there's been, you know, some sort of crisis where somebody has been alone or they've been feeling alone. They may have even been in an unrequited love situation where they were with somebody that they didn't love and they have reevaluated. They've reevaluated the situation. I feel like there's a big reevaluation going on here. 
in regards to a partnership where somebody is involved in an unrequited love situation and they are they've thought about it they're thinking about it they have thought about it because this is reversed they've thought about everything that has happened and it feels like they may there could be a reconnection here like a uh coming out of hiding somebody may have been enlightened or become awakened or something like that because of an unrequited love situation this is a this is socializing coming out of hiding connecting um there i feel like there's some sort of reconnection that is happening with somebody that um uh, has learned some sort of lesson this person has learned a lesson through introspection and through getting themselves involved in an unrequited love situation a lesson has been learned that's that's what i see could be dealing with a pisces you could be dealing with a virgo um, could be dealing with anybody but we have enlightenment here somebody ha is becoming enlightened or they have become enlightened and they're reevaluating they've gained a new perspective or they are gaining one right now um what do we have for sagittarius abundance that's beautiful abundance so Abundance pretty much speaks for itself, but I've read for everybody else, so I'm going to read for you as well. The time of abundance, receiving by the looks of things, an abundance. And that happens to be the first card as well. Here we see a depiction of Pomona, the Roman goddess of abundance and harvest of the ripe fruits and fields. She is adorned with all manner of wildflowers and forest flora, as if to celebrate the yield of nature's bounty. Butterflies dance around her, representing transformation in a lightness of being. We can all relate to the wonderful feelings of connectedness when abundance bestows herself upon us. It can be, physic it can be felt physically with the harvesting of material success or good health, mentally in fruition of an idea or a dream, emotionally by finding new love, or spiritually through expansion of the soul. This card calls you to reflect on the abundance already in your possession. Be thankful for all you have and be open to receiving more goodness in your life. It may be your turn to enjoy the fruits of your labors, of your labors in the harvest of hard-earned efforts. Or perhaps you are currently looking for ways to increase the flow of abundance into your life. From a practical perspective, and it's interesting because I mentioned a new perspective is needed. Be grateful for what you have and more will come. Seriously, that's the truth. You gotta believe that though. That's why faith is here. You have to believe. You have to believe that, you know, in abundance. You have to believe that you have the power to manifest abundance. You have to have a new perspective. The more positive you are, the more positive comes into your life. It's interesting that I mentioned gruff. Don't be so gruff. Smile. Be friendly. I'm not saying that you are, but that's what I saw on the card. Anyhow, um... From a practical perspective, decluttering helps you value what you already have and creates an empty space so more abundance can follow. Forgiveness plays a vital role in decluttering their emotions. By releasing the past, we liberate ourselves, freed from the gravity of weighty karmic effects. We reconnect with the light, abundant flow of unconditional love. How wonderful. Gifting and tithing, tithing are known ways to increase the flow of prosperity. Now is a favorable time to establish a healthy balance between giving and receiving. In this materialistic age, it is common to mistake the, me the measure of success and worth through the possession of money and status alone. There is nothing wrong with aspiring to have lovely things or to create the security and opportunities that money can buy. However, Western values generally encourage focus solely on the outward physical manifestation of abundance. Let me read that again. However, Western values generally encourage focus solely on the outward physical manifestation of abundance. We can be guided to find a healthy balance by focusing inwardly 
to discover spiritual riches available to us in every moment. This is going inward and so isn't the hermit. So you may need to go within to gain a new perspective about yourself, to re-identify yourself. You know, are you living by society's standards and that's not really who you are? Anyhow. Um, our divine nature expands far beyond the horizons of the material plane alone and has the power to banish fear and grant authentic peace regardless of circumstance or status. These are just some of the fruits and bounties to be discovered as we journey home along the highway of life. In whatever form, may abundance in all its glory be yours. Some sort of abundance is coming to you, but it comes after, okay? A change in perspective. And you have to believe. Believing is part of faith. If you don't believe, then forget it. So there is abundance after a change, after, after you go within and realize and, uh, who you really are, right? Um, the luck is on your side. Something really fortunate is coming as well. I mean, there is a, a flood of abundance coming your way in every aspect, as I just read. Probably your health, probably love, probably um, in every other area of your life. But it comes after you uh, bring that healthy balance into your life. You know, you have to be able to uh, release yourself from things that are basically lust. And lust isn't just sexual. Lust is materialism. Yes, yeah, it's sexual, whatever. You have to um, basically ascend to a higher place where those things are minor, okay? Um, it's hard to explain, but I think you get it. I do, because I think that you're very spiritual. Um, I think that, I think, I think, and that's just my, this is just my opinion, that Sagittarius is probably... Uh, very, very, very awakened, very, very enlightened, right at the top of the list, put it that way, if not at the top, okay? I think that Sagittarius is very um, connected to the higher power. Anyhow. Um, but there is too much concern with sexual matters. You need to go within... Interesting. So, what do we have for Sagittarius? You have so much to be grateful for. And when you're grateful for all that you have and you give freely without expectation, more will flow to you. So give without expectation. There is some hard work ahead and I think it's because that new perspective is needed. And it's not easy. This is a card of change. It's not easy to change perspectives when you've been doing something your whole life. You need to be open-minded. Four of Swords, go within, uh, meditate, take a time out, take a break. Take time to reevaluate, take time. You need some time. You need time to be alone. And I know that some people don't want to be alone. Who wants to be alone? It, would, would you rather be with somebody that is gruff, that... Uh, or is all over you, you know, could, could this could go either way, whichever one you are, you may have, would you rather be with somebody that you really don't jive with because it's somebody? Oh my goodness gracious. A need to go within and uh, reflect and meditate and re-identify Eight of Swords reversed, Ace of Cups reversed, uh, emotional dishonesty, emotions all over the place. There's an obstacle that needs to be removed. 
It's an unrequited love situation. You are in a situation that you don't love. And I don't care what it is. It could be any kind. It's not love. It's not emotionally fulfilling. And it's been holding you back. It's been keeping you stuck in some way. You're in some sort of trap, some sort of prison. Could be mental. Could be a mental prison. But this is breaking free. It's liberation. It is the end. It's the death of an idea or a person. Uh, it's time to break free from an emotionally unfulfilling situation. You need to replace your fear with faith. Again, with that Eight of Swords, you need to stand up for yourself. You need to get up. You need to stop staying put. You know it. And I think you're going to receive a message from within if you take a time to think about this and go within. I feel like you are attracting abundance into your life. You may not even know it, but I feel like you have to get yourself out of an unrequited love situation. And I don't know what that, and I don't know if it's a job or if it's a relationship or it's a friendship or whatever it is. You're dealing with somebody who isn't really interested by the looks of things. You know, or you're all over them and yeah, somebody is over all over one person and the other person isn't interested. And that is exactly what we got here. That's in the past, though. I think that you have another opportunity here that can bring you abundance, but it's not going to be easy because you can't be that person. I'm sorry to say this that you used to be. You know, I'm not saying that, I mean, I am saying it. I, there's a change that is needed here. A change in perspective is needed. You need to uh, re-identify yourself as to who you are now and who you want to be in the future. There's obstacles that are holding you back and it's your own mind, you know, your own fears even. Your fears of, of losing control. The hangman's all about control. It is. It's about ego. It is. It's about ego and control. The, and, and many... Um, descriptions the hangman is a martyr you know I gotta prove this I got you don't gotta prove nothing you don't got nothing to prove to anybody abundance is meant to be yours so anyway I feel like this month that that emotion is gonna be extremely emotional I think you're gonna be in your emotions because I feel like you need to remove yourself from some sort of confinement some sort of restriction you've been confining yourself you've been stuck you've been trapped and I think that you've re you're receiving some sort of an awakening or enlightenment or messages you know from your time alone I see you spending time alone and receiving some guidance perhaps I think it is guidance probably from yourself from your from your gut you know um, that is telling you to uh, stand up. You need to stand up. You need to step out of this situation. You need to stop lying to yourself. The Eight of Swords reverse lies. It's like, no, I'm going to stay right here. Even if there isn't no reciprocation, even if this isn't love, I'm going to stay right here because it's comfortable. It's not comfortable. It's not comfortable. I feel like some of you may need... Uh, I don't know. The Four of Swords can be, you know, help. There's maybe there's a need for. Um, did I say Four of Cups? Four of Swords is. Uh, I don't know. Rehab could be rehab. Could be doctors. Could be uh, help. You know, medical help. Page of Swords. Page of Swords. That is. A message conflict that you don't want to hear somebody is going to be receiving a message that they don't want to hear there could be an argument you could be you there could be an upcoming argument you could be dealing with somebody that is emotionally immature this person is a troublemaker maker they're angry they they like to poke you they're, they're the ones that that likes to keep you down it could be a Libra Gemini Aquarius I think it could also be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. There's somebody here that likes to keep you down. They, they like to uh, play mind games with you. It's a, it's a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. They play mind games with you. And I feel like you need to remove yourself from this situation. The Eight of Swords reverse. That's like stand up. Get yourself out of this situation. Why can't you? This is not love. Love reciprocates. Love is not gruff. Love is kind. Love is patient. You know, we can go through the whole thing. The 
this is it. <laughs> Queen of Wands, you are a force to be reckoned with. You need to find your confidence, your courage, your strength, your willpower, your determination. You are in a position of power. I see you turning your back on a situation that is loveless. I do. I see you taking control. I see you holding your head up high. I do feel like you are going to be uh, taking some action this month. Uh, you're walking away from something. Take a look at that. You are. You are, and, I, and I feel like you are in control. You're taking control. You're taking control. Wow, that's all I want to say is wow. You are going to be looking really, really, really good too. You are. As soon as you take your power back and you turn your back on an unrequited love situation, your whole energy shifts. It goes from darkness to wow. Holy shit. Look at that. Anyhow, wow. I mean, I can't even stop saying wow. You have been drained. You have been you have been held back by an energy of somebody that is emotionally draining. This person uses emotional uh, blackmail on you. This is an enemy disguised as a friend. They like to fight. They like to blame you for things. They like to keep you stuck. They like to keep you down. They like to put you down. Uh, oh, son of a gun. I feel like you're gaining a new perspective. You're reevaluating a situation and you are headed towards abundance. You are going to be on fire. I feel like you are going to be you're going to be in a position where you're taking you're taking you're going in a new direction. You are going in a new direction and you are wherever you're going, it's it's very it's good. It is definitely good because you're going to be in the spotlight. You are people are going to be drawn to you. You are going to be uh Holy shit. I mean, that's the way I see it. This is very passionate. Ooh. This is good health as well. Your health is going to increase. Right now, you're in an unhealthy situation. Very unhealthy situation. Nine of Swords reversed. Nine of Swords is misery, but letting go of the misery because it's reversed, giving deep thought to a relationship. Your gut is telling you that this isn't healthy and you're leaving it. You're leaving this stressful bullshit behind. You are going to receive some news or a message in regards, maybe it's from this person or about this person that has held you back, that has drained you, that has put you down and made you feel like shit. You could also be receiving, um, I don't know if it's, a, I don't know if it, it could be a message from a doctor. I don't know why I want to say doctor or a professional. I don't know why. Uh, I think that you're going to receive a message that you don't want to hear that breaks you free because that eight of swords reverse is freedom. Freedom from a restriction. Freedom from confinement. It is It is an uh, uh, obstacle being removed. It is it is sad because of that ace of cups. It is sad. It is, it's, it's almost like it's bittersweet because you get put in the position where you are absolutely on fire. You're, it's, almost, it's like your whole outlook on yourself changes because you're out of that energy. You know, when you remove yourself from that energy, everything changes. So anyhow, I think you're leaving behind a desperate situation where there's been a lot of uh, grief. There's been a lot of depression. This person has caused you a lot of depression. They've caused you to have fear and to not know your your self worth or your self confidence. It's like they've your self confidence and your self esteem had diminished. It was a dark place. I mean, look at the darkness. But you. Okay, look at you. You're 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 like holy shit. You're going to be on fire. You you're you know, anyhow. Um I do believe that you're not going to lay here and allow this person to keep you trapped anymore. 
I don't know if you live with this person or not, but it's somebody that has restricted you from being your best self. But this is going to be a shift. There's also somebody here that could be helping you. This is probably another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person may be helping you to heal. Gemini Aquarius I think you're giving deep thought to a relationship you are in a very good position you are up against somebody that doesn't really communicate that well this person is hard they're hard they're hard to talk to because they're so set in their ways this person isn't interested in practicality they're they they just say whatever they got to say. They don't think about whether they hurt you. They've caused you a lot of stress in the past. They've caused you a lot of sleepless nights. I feel like you're going to be having a conversation with this person. I do feel like it's an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This person, I think there's going to be some direct, uh, I feel like it's a confrontation. I also feel like you guys are, uh, going to be put in a stressful position by this person but you need to hold your head up high and do not let this person take you down they may try to scare you with their looks i feel like you're dealing with somebody that you know can give you like a, a dirty look a really really dirty look you know a nasty look and they try to intimidate you with their looks you know the way they look at you they try to you know they they make their face you know where they're trying to scare you with their looks don't let it happen <coughs> they're just as intimidated by you trust me There's going to be a challenging conversation with this person. This is not wish fulfillment. This is this is uh, not a cups reversed. Is this unable to give or receive love? There's a lack of inner happiness here, low self esteem, lack of confidence. But I think that you're going to be taking your power back. I feel like there's been some blockages. I feel like you're probably ho you were wishing that this was going to work out, hoping that something was going to work out. But this is miserable. It's miserable. I think that you've been in a miserable situation with an individual that has emotionally drained you. They've kept you down. They've made you think that everything is your fault. And I feel like you're taking your power back. I feel like you're going to be put in a position of authority. You're taking action. You're finding your strength and your courage and your confidence to confront this person. You've given, you're going to be giving a lot of deep thought to the relationship. And you, I feel for that, uh, I feel like there's going to be, uh, Well, it's definitely a conversation. I don't see movement yet. I don't see anybody moving, really. I see a challenging conversation, and I see you gaining confidence and gaining strength and becoming more healthy. But this could be moving. Eight of Swords reversed, removing yourself from an unhealthy situation. There could be a conflict, a message, or... A, um, Well, there's a message. There's some sort of message. There's something that you don't want to see or don't want to hear. But you have to see it. You have to see it. And you're going to see it. Because this is not wish fulfillment. It's not love. It's not love. It's not and I, it, I, you know, I feel like uh, you're going to be, I do feel like you're going to be having a difficult conversation with somebody. All is not as it seems. You need to, you need to proceed with caution. 
I feel like there's you're dealing with uh, somebody that anyhow what I was saying something's ending obviously you are going to be a force to be reckoned with by the end of June you are going to be in a position of power and whoever you are up against is not going to like it your health is getting better it's gonna get better as soon as you turn your back on this loveless situation whatever it is some of you are going to be connecting with somebody that is a Libra Gemini Aquarius or it's another fire sign Aries Leo Sagittarius but you have to give deep thought give deep thought to the relationship is this really what you want is this really 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 what you want um, because it doesn't look it looks like you're turning your back on a dead-end situation you know it's you're turning your back on a situation where you have been belittled and trapped and put down and uh, emotionally drained <laughs> I mean, I don't know what to say, but I and I feel like you're you're gonna be up against a person that is cold. They may want you to give them another chance. You're going to have to give deep thought to a relationship. You are. You do have somebody here that is very attracted to you. Follow your gut. Listen to your intuition. Okay. You do have an opportunity here for abundance, but it does require you to uh Well, the hangman is about letting go and the struggle is real. So you have to let go of something that you've been hanging on to and it could just be your old ways. It could be a person, it could be a perspective could be an unrequited love situation. There's something that you are going to be put into a position where you can move forward into abundance or you can keep hanging on to wherever you've been. Good luck.